Time now for NTV's first alert weather forecast. Welcome back here on your Thursday. Now, if you're anything like me or my family, you're just itching to get outside and do something. Not today, but it is going to get better eventually. Uh, today, only highs in the low 50s. We're going to have a chance of some sporadic showers. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be chilly. It's going to get cold tonight. We've got freeze warnings. Frost advisories in effect for almost the entire coverage area. As the further west you go, overnight we're going to drop into the upper 20s and low 30s. And it's a combination of a couple of things. We've got a you know unseasonably cool air mass that's obviously settled in. We've had this deep trough that has you know been the catalyst for the reason for the showers, the thunderstorms that we've had the last several days. And then as we get into tonight, that trough starts to break up a little bit, but this little surface area of high pressure drifts in. It's going to clear our skies out. It's going to calm the winds down and just give us a really good setup for radiational cooling to get our temps down in the 20s and 30s. Okay, that's the bad news. Good news. We finally get back into some warmth as we get into next week. This is Tuesday. Notice that warmth finally building in as we get an upper level ridge of high pressure to settle into the central plains. This is what we've been waiting on. Uh, we are going to have, you know, kind of a quick little front on Wednesday. Drops us back down upper 60s, low 70s, but next week looks much improved. Now today, we're still running chilly, almost 20 degrees below average. Highs only in the low 50s for most of you. And with a north wind that's going to be gusting over 20 to 25 for much of the day, you know, it's going to feel even cooler. So a little shower chance. Now, southwest areas, you have the best chance of rain today. For the rest of us, it's probably going to end up being some sporadic showers that develop towards this afternoon. And then tonight, as that area of high pressure builds in, it's going to be chilly. If you've got sensitive plants outside, you better bring them in or cover them up. But tomorrow we start to inch forward. It will be a process. Don't get me wrong. It's still going to be cool tomorrow. It's just going to be slightly better. Upper 50s, near 60. And then over the weekend, we finally start to really take that step forward. 50 to the high today. That is it. Tonight, we're down to 34. And again, frost will be very widespread in the area. Some of you dipping even below freezing. Back up to 59 tomorrow as we slowly improve. And like I said, the weekend's going to get better. But today, only low 50s on the way for most of you. And those overnight lows tonight, 20s and 30s. And the key to tonight will be cloud cover. We might be able to sneak some back in towards sunrise, but there's going to be a quick drop in temps tonight. But the weekend looks good. Upper 60s, just a slight chance of showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Uh, with a front that comes in Saturday evening, but next week we got 70s and 80s on the map, and boy, do we need it. It's wet out there. We got to dry out. We got to warm up, and next week looks a lot better, guys. I think you got me sick. I'm but sorry. I don't think it's going to start till Monday. Is it one of those that doesn't kick in for a yeah, few days? Yeah, it's just I'm like a, a lull. Uh, <laughs> vitamin C. Okay. Start it now. You know that emergency stuff works sometimes. It seems serious. We'll like help you. Three days at least. <laughs> Thanks, Tim.